Hey guys, I've been putting off making this video review for a while. Things have been going on and um, just haven't had the time or the motivation, I guess. But I just got these three back from, well, not really. I got it back maybe about a month ago, two months ago, from Solo. Solo's Knife Reviews here on YouTube. Um, I got this Gail Bradley that he did the uh, scales on with some blue black G10 and I told him or I asked him to make the liners um, not appear to sit so proudly in comparison to the scales like it did originally and as you can see here they're pretty much flush which is what I wanted I know there was uh, an interview with uh, Mr. Bradley himself regarding the way the scale sat in relation to the liners and it had something to do with affording more grip um, when using gloves but aesthetically I prefer this kind of look and he also well Solo also took the liberty of making the thumb hole a little bit more accessible than it was in the original but he also stole um, Acid X the blade, uh, it's a little dirty there, I was using it, <laughs> and I think it came out beautiful. He blasted the liners, um, he did the clip, I mean I'm telling you, this guy has so much attention to detail and he does little things that you wouldn't you know, think of or ask him to do, but he knows what makes the knife work, and what, what's, what makes it unique, I guess, and as far as tweaks so this knife is really pretty much a one of a kind as far as spider cole uh, gail bradley's are concerned he also did the hardware i mean it's just little things like that that make him such an outstanding knife modifier um it's super smooth you know his his acid treatment of the blade doesn't affect it at all he knows exactly what needs to be done um, it's just as smooth or even smoother than when I first sent it out to him um, next up is the air now the air also had the same um, design feature as the Gail Bradley and the fact that the liner stood proud to the scale so I sent him uh, some Ghost J G10 and he made scales to fit and again beautiful he anodized the titanium liners blue um, I had been using this for a while and the blade has developed some sort of patina to it already uh, but overall and he even got the little cutout for the lock bar release over there and it just great work as usual thank you so much Randy I mean I I love carrying this knife I mean I had no problem with the silver twill but again just makes it more unique more mine you know I mean yep look at that I mean it's a perfect little knife for the office you know no clip really light you hardly notice it in your dress pants except you know you do know that it's there hopefully you don't throw it in the wash <laughs> but it's so so much better now you know the scales are rounded at the edges and it's a lot more organic and the blue anodizing is also pretty cool I like what he did there see you can almost see the the milling done or the skeletonizing done to the scales I mean to the liners in there I'm sorry the camera is focusing in and out so much. I guess I have to keep in mind the distance to the lens. But 
Yep, this is, it's almost like a whole new knife to me. I've carried this quite a bit since I got it. You know, as a spare knife, a backup knife, it's pretty innocuous looking, harmless in the office. <laughs> and last but not least, which is um, something I actually received before the Spider Co's, is my speed form. Well, I had a speed form, uh, the speed form's been a long time, uh, Grail Spider Co, I mean, uh, Grail Kershaw for me, and I actually got one about a year and a half ago from a, a fellow member at Blade Forums, but it was pristine, unused, um, perfect example, and I happened to get this one from another member on there that was a user. It was a user, and he had um, anodized parts, of, and he had anodized the backspacer blue, um, but I decided, since I really so desperately wanted to carry it, but I didn't find, I didn't have the heart to, you know, um, pretty pretty much take the original one I had out of its pristine condition, um, I got the user, and right away I sent it to Solo, and told him to do his magic on it. You know, I, I saw what he did with that strider, with what with what he calls the Midas finish, um, where he polishes and anodizes the titanium to this gold hue, and it's so so much more classy looking. Not that you know the original speed form wasn't. It's just that again, this makes it really unique. His treatment to the blade pretty much almost sterilizes it. Um, it removes any markings on there, although you know this is definitely a speed form. Um, nothing else. I mean, just the knife profile and silhouette just sets it apart from anything else out there, except speed form 2. But it's... I still love this knife. Did a really good, great job on it. Um, I left the clip out. Well, he did, he also did the clip, but I left it out. Um, I usually I usually don't carry this with a the clip. There's a special pocket in my pants for this knife. It's actually sewn on the inside, and it sits in there perfectly. But this knife is, I think, the prettiest Kershaw I have. One of the prettiest folding knives I have, really. I still love the design. It's so elegant and sleek. And Randy just made it that much better. The only thing that's... Um, the only distinguishing mark you can see from the knife is... This Kershaw logo is still there. And if you can catch it in the light. There it is. But, um... Yeah, everything else just makes the knife so much more unique and so much more mine. Thank you again, Randy, and thank you guys for watching this. Um, as I get more knives back or as I acquire more knives, I'll be posting more videos of them. hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time.